Okay, I think I'm live. Hello everyone, this is uh, another one of my Facebook Live videos. I uh, hope I'm getting a little better at it. Um, it's supposed to start in one minute, so I think I'll just uh, wait and see if uh, anyone's here. Comment moderation so far. Um, as you can see, there's a few cats here. Hi. All right, so I'm going to start because it's recorded anyway. Uh, first off, before I, I get to the main topics, uh, I want to talk about a little, just really quickly, if you have an FIP cat, uh, the best thing for you to do, you can contact zenbycat.org. You can contact me at peter at zenbycat.org. Uh, but you can go to Facebook. FIP Warriors 3.0 is still up. Uh, the others were taken down, but FIP Warriors 3.0 is still there, and I can also provide you a link. You can go there and get information on the current uh, availability of, of treatment. So please, if you have an FIP cat, uh, at least find out your options. It's still expensive, but uh, a lot of people use GoFundMe. As I said, you can share the GoFundMe on our sites uh, and at least know your options. Um, okay, so the big news uh, that we want to talk about fundraising is I was uh, talking to one of our longtime supporters. Uh, we raise money uh, many ways, online store and birthday fundraisers, etc. But our biggest program is our FIP Warrior Club, where we ask people to sign up for $10 a month automatic donation. And we guarantee that nine of those $10 every month goes to the researchers. We just use $1 to help offset our costs. Uh, for example, when you join, I send you a free Warrior t-shirt, not just this one. We have lots of models you choose your own and uh, you send us ten dollars a month we use one dollar a month to help cover the cost of the shirt it takes us 12 months to pay for this twelve dollar shirt so you know even from day the first month your nine of your dollars goes to the researchers so definitely um, this program is is big to us and um, my Longtime supporter said, Here's how we'll help you. They're willing to match up to 90 people for a year. So that's $10,000 in promised matching money. So if you're already a monthly donor, please, we don't want any more money. The idea is uh, two cups of coffee, $10 a month, but tell your friends. And if you're not a monthly donor, please consider it uh, because that $10 makes a huge difference when it's added by thousands of people. And our goal is still to get 5,000 people giving $10 a month. That would let us give a million dollars a year, which is what Dr. Peterson told me the researchers need to actually end FIP. Uh, the current drugs, GS and GC, none, neither of them is approved by FDA yet. GS is available through unregul unregulated markets. It's still really expensive. It was never meant to be the final solution. Uh, a lot more research is going for better drugs, cheaper drugs, for a vaccine, uh, for a definitive test. We support all of that. So again, if you're not a $10 a month uh, donation, donation donator, uh, please consider that. And we have a matching grant. So when you sign up, uh, we'll let you know, and up to 90 people for a year. And that's a lot. And that's our big news. Um, the next thing I want to talk about before I get to questions, uh, so Litter Genie, uh, I told you last time, this is one of our newest sponsors. Uh, they made a sizable donation to us. Uh, again, we only promote products that we use. If you don't have a Litter Genie pail, you should get one. Uh, you, it's it's just so you can scoop your litter box. These are the refill bags. They're really easy to replace. They're really easy to tie. Um, and the link will be below. Definitely use our link. Zen by Cat will link you to their uh, Amazon Facebook, Amazon page for Litter Genie. Um, and it helps them know that um, supporting us uh, makes sense for them. And we show them that uh, humans touched by FIP care about companies who are supporting the fight against FIP. Litter Genie is one of them. Of course, you know uh, the water bowls made by VivipET. They're available too. VivipET's one of our biggest and longtime sponsors. Um, they make lots of cool products. Uh, pet potion for you know washing your cat. Cats don't like water. This works really well. You can see Jupiter Jones is in uh, the, the cat ball bed. Uh, behind me is Puppy Seed on a Pillow that was painted by Dora, who uh, for a very small amount of money can will paint your cat and then you can put the image on lots of images. So we have lots of, of, of other companies that support us. Zenbycat.shop, again, all of these will be in the link below, but support them. Uh, 
Um, the next thing I wanted to tell you, oh, and on Amazon, uh, pick Zen by Cat as your charity. Uh, again, they give half a percent for all your purchases if you go through the Smile program, uh, and it adds up. So pick Zen by Cat. And the last but not least important, um, if you visit our FIP Warriors page, uh, you can find hundreds of cats who are currently undergoing treatment. A lot of them have their own GoFundMes. All, they're all on this page. You can donate directly to them if you want to help cats going through the treatment. As I said, it's still expensive. A lot of these people are trying to save their cats. So please visit that site often. And when you have extra money, uh, there's so many. Just pick some and donate. So those are all my commercials. And now I'm going to answer any questions. Someone told me that there might be interest uh, in how we take care of 26 rescued cats in this house with only two humans. So I'm going to see if there's any questions. Is patronage open worldwide? Patron um, patronage, if you mean can you donate or purchase, you can donate for sure worldwide. Uh, purchases, uh, generally we ship to most countries. Uh, smaller items, uh, it, it's easy. Uh, larger items, sometimes the shipping becomes uh, prohibitively expensive. But things like uh, the Ziggy Doo Cat Wheel uh, is free shipping when you buy through our link anywhere in North America, that's Canada and US. And then uh, we can direct you to other places in the world where you can get the same wheel uh, because they ship from all over. Um, so until more questions come in, uh, let me just talk about what it's like to live with 26 cats. People often ask, uh, do they all get along? Why, how is your house so clean? Uh, the answer is it's, it's a lot of work uh, and we give up a lot of things to have this many cats. Uh, we have no rugs, we have uh, uh, just a couple of pieces of upholstered furniture and they're covered in uh, waterproof covers. Our beds have waterproof covers on them uh, because when cats are unhappy, they let you know by peeing on what's most important to you, uh, usually your pillow. Um, and the answer of getting along, uh, no, they don't all get along. Uh, cats uh, have different personalities. We rescue a lot of cats uh, who are hard to play, shy, um, and sometimes uh, when they don't get along, we just have to keep them separate. So we have this ever-changing ritual slash schedule uh, where in the morning we let certain cats out to the main house and keep others separate. Uh, but generally, most of them get along. We have very few that are really want to draw blood, uh, just one or two. Uh, also, in our experience, uh, as cats age, their personalities change just like people. So where one cat didn't get along before, they'll get along now. Uh, if a cat starts uh, peeing outside the box, Sometimes it can take months or years, but eventually they'll find a place in the house, they'll get comfortable and that will stop. Uh, but honestly, uh, we wake up and we clean up cat pee and throw up and whatnot um, pretty much every day. And that's just part of cats. And obviously if you have two or three, it's not such a big deal. But when you have 26, um, it, it never ends. Uh, and we clean our house uh, an hour a day and then we have cleaning day on Saturday. Uh, before COVID, we had cleaning people, uh, that's all gone, so uh, it takes us five or six hours on cleaning day, but other than that, an hour a day to clean the, the 20 some odd litter boxes we have. Uh, it does help, we use, uh, I think I mentioned before, Kitangle, they're very big litter boxes, um, but we still have to scoop them every day. Um, what else can I say about the cat? Oh, just update on Rumple. Uh, Rumple uh, is a 10-year-old cat that was diagnosed with hyperthyroidism. She, uh, we've had hyper, we have another hyperthyroid cat, and usually it's just a pill twice a day. But Rumple is such a shy cat; she's always been a shy cat. Uh, catching her and giving her a pill was not an option, so we found a, a place in LA where they treated her with radioactive iodine, radioactive isotope. They inject her. She was there five days. We brought her home on Friday, uh, and she's radioactive until the end of the month. So she's in a cage in the kitten room. Uh, we were told that humans cannot be within three feet for more than 10 minutes a day. Uh, they said cats, it doesn't matter. Um, weirdly, sadly, because cats only live average of 15 years. So they think that the amount of radiation would not be enough to affect their life. But uh, we can't play with her. We clean the litter and change the water and food. And that's as we have to do that quickly. So she's not happy, but they said it went well. Uh, we won't really know the result. Uh, we have to test her uh, for three months, once each month, to see that the tumor was destroyed and her thyroid is back to normal. But 
Uh, that's an option for cats that are uh, not too old uh, because it is a couple thousand dollars. Um, normally we would just do the pills, but as I said, uh, catching her wasn't an option. Cookie Monster, uh, my very special cat who's being treated for lymphoma, uh, is doing great. Um, she's on chemo now stretched to every four weeks. It was every three weeks. Uh, she will be on chemo the rest of her life. She has a small to medium cell lymphoma, which is incurable, but treatable and they expect her to live uh, in the years, not the months. So that's important to me. Um, Ken, I just got my fifth cat. Her name is Diamond and she's warmed up. Congratulations to Diamond. Um, what else? Um, our cats are only indoors. Uh, I think I've said that before. Uh, the average life of an indoor outdoor cat in a city is under five years. So uh, all our cats come from rescue cats and they uh, are just always indoors and they have a very happy life. They have lots of skylights. Wait, I just got a message. I have to check. Sorry for that. Uh, so, sorry, distracted. So they're only indoor cats, and as I said, they, they live much longer, and they look at uh, lots of skylights, and through windows, they, we have bird bass outside, they watch the birds. Um, and I guess that's all I can think of. So if anyone has any questions, let me know, and if not, this will be a short video. But uh, just to recap, please help us find people to sign up for $10 a month. Uh, because a uh, $10,000 matching grant is our largest donation to date. What kind of trees that behind you? Tan and green one. Oh, this one. So this uh, cat tree is made by Square Paws, which is one of our longtime uh, sponsors. Uh, um, it's an amazing company. They make really custom cat trees. This is called their Wine Goblet. It's online. Uh, I'll put a link below. Uh, it's usually uh, red on top for wine. Uh, but they made it in our colors and it's oversized uh, and there's actually a cat in there. I don't know if you can see uh, Jupiter Jones is in there. Uh, but uh, they also made, uh, I don't know if you've seen videos of our house, we have a reef um, cat tree that they made for us that I, I paid for. Uh, like I said, we pay for everything, but uh, uh, they made a beautiful uh, reef um, cat tree and they do a lot of very high-end custom stuff but they have uh, moderately priced uh, and very well made cat trees so um, you should check them out and again even if you just want to look at amazing uh, installations they did an installation um, for lots of famous people their names are uh, Billy Joel uh, they made a piano cat tree uh, so check them out square paws um, and as I said, uh, we have lots of companies that support us. If I start naming them, I will, I will forget. So let me just uh, look at my website because that's the best way not to forget. Um, shop by partner. Uh, so Kitango is, is who we buy our uh, litter boxes. Again, we only promote what we use. Oh, this is Mikan. Say hi. Um, and Dora from. Caravella Atella, Atelier, I hope I'm pronouncing it. She's the artist in Portugal. Uh, she's done a lot of work for us and she donates uh, every time she does, makes a sale when you use Zen by Cat's code, which is in our links. Um, and, th and that's true for all the companies we work with. They're usually smaller companies um, and they're willing to step up and help in this fight. And we just try to get people to at least uh, thank them, You know, even if you don't want to buy their products, although they're good. Um, because getting, getting companies to support um, FIP research is hard. Uh, I did want to tell you that uh, the GS drug, which is the one that is available on unregulated markets uh, online that we can connect you with, um, is the patent is owned by Gilead, and they are currently testing it on humans for COVID-19. And ironically, that's making it harder for us to get it for cats so that we don't get it from G uh, Gilead. Um, but the silver lining is if it's approved, if it works for humans and gets approved, uh, that will automatically make it available for cats as an off-label drug. So um, in that sense, it would help us. The other drug that um, that actually cured Smokey, the first drug, GC376, is currently still in the long process of getting approved 
by the FDA through an American company called Anavive. Uh, you can Google them. I'll put a link in the in the below in the comments below. But uh, they're in the long process. They're working to get that uh, approved for FDA. Uh, GS, as far as I know, Gilead won't do that. But the Chinese companies uh, that we'll connect you with, they are working to get it approved in China. And same thing, if they get it approved in China, the way it works is we can then buy it uh, actually legally uh, as an off-label drug in the U.S. So one way or the other, uh, we'll get these drugs to you. But um, the whole purpose of funding FIP research now is because these drugs are not uh, the perfect solution. They're expensive. They're 12 weeks long. Um, so we want to we want to keep funding researchers. Um, that's all I got. So maybe I didn't. Um, Oh, here's more questions. Square paws. Yes. Uh, for those who don't know, what's between FIP and... Uh, that's a question I can't really... I can tell you what FIP is. So FIP is, is feline infectious peritonitis. And it's kind of equivalent or similar to human HIV uh, in cats. And uh, it's caused by a mutation of the coronavirus. The coronavirus is a very common uh, cold-like virus that 90% of all felines in the world have. Uh, normally, uh, it doesn't hurt the cat, and in 2 to 3%, for reasons that they don't really know, uh, they know stress is a factor, but not always, uh, in 2 to 3%, it mutates into FIP, and until 2016, that was always fatal. Uh, since 2016, these drugs uh, have proven that they can cure it, um, but again, we, we're curing thousands, but millions die from this disease. Um, other than that, there's lots of uh, um, treatments that help the cat be more comfortable, but uh, besides these antiviral drugs, there is no other treatment that will actually affect and cure the FIP. Uh, it is possible for a cat to have FIP and live, but those are one in a million, like everything else. Uh, it, is, it is usually a fatal disease. Uh, there's three forms. There's wet, dry, and neurological. Wet is the easiest to cure. Uh, dry is hard. It sometimes uh, has different symptoms. It's harder to, to see. Uh, neurological is the hardest. But all three have been cured by uh, GS or treatment. I don't really want to mention that too many times because um, Gilead doesn't like us. Um, Ipipu will be less expensive than it is now. So. I don't know the answer to that. I, you know, drugs for humans and animals are just, especially in the U.S., expensive. I would imagine that uh, if uh, GS or GC is approved, it will be less expensive uh, than it is now. In in in, in that, uh, mainly insurance companies, uh, pet insurance would cover it. Right now, uh, most pet insurance companies won't cover it. Uh, Currently, uh, my understanding is the 12-week course can cost anywhere from $1,200 up to many, many thousands uh, because the treatment for GS uh, um, is based on weight and based on the type of FIP, wet being the easiest. So if you have a tiny little kitten, um, it, it's not so much, you know, the daily uh, pill or daily injection. But as the cat responds and starts growing, it gets heavier and you need more and more. Uh, also. Uh, in about 15 to 20 percent, the cat does relapse. This is not, um, they, they are curable, but it just means you have to do more treatment. So uh, we have people who've spent many, many, many thousands saving their cat. Uh, I will tell you that Smokey, who went through the first trial, and he used GC376, that's the drug that preceded GS, um, and his 12-week course was, of course, we didn't have to pay for it. It was through a drug trial at, at UC Davis, but it was, tens of thousands of dollars for to you know hand make this drug now of course they're manufacturing it many many companies so the answer the the short answer is i, I believe it would be cheaper it would certainly be covered by insurance and uh, not to say it too many times but that's the point of continued fip research because we want to get to a uh, ultimately a vaccine but until then a treatment that costs you know five hundred dollars uh, to cure a cat because that's that's the number that uh, while difficult most people could get to. Obviously, a lot of people can't get to 5,000. Uh, my worry when I get done was it since Journey had FP, these cure with their stilly thinkers. So uh, the question is uh, if you had an FIP cat um, and the cat was cured, 
uh, is there still coronavirus in the house? The answer is there's a coronavirus in all houses. There are people who go to great lengths to try to get rid of the coronavirus, uh, but it's, it's almost impossible because uh, even if you were to succeed, if you if you visit, go to someone's house, they have a cat, you can pick up the coronavirus and bring it back. The cat goes to the vet, it's likely to bring it back. So it's, it's a lot of effort for a zero gain because, again, most coronavirus is harmless and they don't mutate. So uh, I would think of it this way. Yes, your, ha your house has coronavirus, but uh, you do what you can to, to I mean, it, it's like cancer, right? You don't, you don't worry too much. There's not much you can do to control cancer. The, the factors to limit the mutation is uh, don't stress your cat. So cats get stressed easily, but uh, if your kitten, you know, we, we, we always, uh, for example, the kittens go through lots of uh, vaccinations. Some some vets will space them out more now. Uh, if you can uh, avoid spaying or neutering your cat till one year, that's ideal. But that's not really possible in most cases. Uh, most kittens, certainly in rescues, are spayed in the 15th week, um, and we just we we just have to kind of accept that uh, FIP is uh, two percent, and now there's a cure. Other than that, I I think. If we let it uh, terrify us, uh, we lose the joy of cats. So I have rescued, uh, I have 26 cats. I've rescued 50 cats over my lifetime. I've had two FIP cases. So it is rare. Um, I know all the people affected by it, that doesn't matter, but try not to let it take away the joy of cats. And just, you know, a, a happy, healthy home uh, is what you can do to, to try not to get FIP, but it's like trying not to get cancer. Uh, have you heard of NutraThrive for cats? And if so, really good. I, I have not heard of NutraThrive, so I will look that up. Uh, why did you give GS to Dr. P2 trial then refused? So I don't want to talk too much about uh, Dr. Peterson and Julia, but uh, the, the drug companies, including, including Julia, the way it works is yeah, they make variants of drugs available to researchers all over the world, um, and GS is a variant of, of one of their drugs. The one that they gave to Dr. Peterson was GS44-1512, I think. I, I'm forgetting. Um, and why did they do that and then refuse? Uh, that's a good question. I don't have an answer. Uh, but when he was successful, they decided that they didn't want to license it for animals because they're trying to use it for humans even before COVID-19. Now they're trying to use it for COVID-19. So they don't want any complications if they were licensed, if they were to license it for cats. And then cats started having problems. They're concerned it would complicate the FDA approval for humans. Humans is a bigger market. That is the sad world that we live in. Um, I spent, so yes, um, Someone just mentioned that they spent six thousand dollars to cure their cat, and that's that's not uncommon. Although it's getting a little cheaper. Um, in, in when it first started, you know, a year ago when we started buying these drugs online, people were spending ten, fifteen, twenty thousand. So um, now, again, we can we can do it sometimes for fifteen hundred, um, but we need we need more research. Um, let me see. Oh, wow, there's quite a few questions. Let me uh, do you sell the Superman bandanas that smoke your ears? Uh, the question is, do you sell the Superman bandanas that smoke your ears? Actually, someone is making me a bunch of bandanas that we will add. Uh, I, I don't have a Superman specifically, but I will try to source it because uh, he's a strange cat and he likes wearing bandanas and he's worn his Superman and his Batman and his... Uh, I think he has three others, and they're fraying. He wears them all the time. Uh, the question is, Smokey still receiving any medication or treatment, or is he completely symptom-free now? Smokey is completely symptom-free. He's on no medication. He um, is coming up on his fourth year anniversary, October 25th. Uh, so four years ago, he completed the 12 weeks. Uh, he took GC, uh, was twice daily shots, uh, and since then, he has not had any treatment. Um, he no longer, he gets an annual physical like all our cats, uh, and we send the results to UC Davis just for their records. But uh, he's considered cured, and of course, they won't know until we see him live a full long life, but that's what they expect him to live, um, and he's under no treatment. 
Uh, let's see. Yes, please look it up and let me know what you think. Okay, I will look up NutraThrive. I don't know if anyone else knows this. Uh, someone asked about NutraThrive. Uh, it's supposed to have a lot of nutrients. Uh, I will tell you that um, generally I, I shy away from giving my cats uh, anything extra except uh, good cat food. And even that, um, one of our board members, uh, Dr. Heather Kennedy, believes that uh, you don't need to buy expensive uh, cat food, that Purina makes some good cat foods, and her reasoning is they have dietitians who uh, spend a lot of science and time to make healthy cat food. I know this is controversial, lots of people don't think that. We actually feed our cats Fussy Cat. Uh, by the way, we're still trying to get them to be a sponsor, uh, if you're listening Fussy Cat, or you can let them know. Uh, but we feed them uh, Fussy Cat, and we try to feed them wet food. I have dry food too. Uh, we try to feed them wet food twice a day and dry food as kind of a snack. Uh, I also have uh, cats like Cookie Monster, who's on a special, uh, she can't eat fish or chicken uh, because of her lymphoma. Um, the doctors feel that's, I, I don't ex exactly understand it, but uh, she has to eat, uh, she eats uh, rabbit, deer, um, and one other. So we buy this uh, prescription food, which is $3 a can, uh, but she gets that. And then uh, pretty much otherwise we use Fussy Cat. Um, wow, let's see, I'm trying to read and do this at the same time. Uh, um, Oh, someone asked me about uh, how many cats is too many cats. And maybe I've, I've talked about this before, but we have 26. We never plan to have 26, uh, but it's our limit uh, both financially because uh, we have currently five under medical care. And as cats age, just like people, hey, um, they get... Uh, cost money and also just having enough time to give them all love and individual attention um, and and keeping them apart so uh, I always tell people you you need to have a life I mean this is my opinion but uh, there are a lot of people who who fall over the edge into hoarding because they keep rescuing and they, they, they want to save them all and believe me I understand that I do not go to rescue cats at the local shelter unless I have room for a cat because I want to take them all uh, but you have to stop yourself so um, you can save what you can save and you can give them a good life and you can enjoy them, right? Because if you're spending all your money and all your time scooping cat litter and, and well, there's no joy in that. So I really hope people know how to stop. And if, you, if you're like me, then don't go to shelters if you can't say no. Um, because falling over the edge is sad and, and, and then it's no good for anyone. Um, uh, yeah, so I don't have anything else to say. If there's any more questions, I'm trying to think. It's unfortunate that CatCon got canceled this year. Uh, that's another reason that we ask people to help us. Uh, to follow us on social media, it makes a big difference when you uh, follow us on YouTube, on Instagram, and on Facebook, and when you like and share our posts. Their algorithms are always changing. People often uh, stop seeing our posts because they didn't uh, uh, share a post or whatever the algorithm is. Uh, and of course, getting people to sign up for $10 a month, I need help asking because uh, I feel like I ask too much, but um, that's going to be the holy grail. That's what's uh, going to get Dr. Peterson and the other uh, the research money that they need. Um, someone's talking about the food they give. Oh, we, 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 we river. I can't pronounce it, but yes, uh, we used to use that cat food too. It's a very good cat food. But as I said, uh, Dr. Heather Kennedy uh, believes that, you know, Purina cat food, uh, inexpensive, any inexpensive uh, grain-free cat food is, is going to be good for your cat. And, and the other thing is, you know, if you can only afford to buy inexpensive cat food, you're still saving cats. And uh, we all have to listen to our finances. Um, and I always want to say again, uh, every dollar we raise, none of it goes to our cats. People uh, 
asking about the difference between House of Neko and Zen by Cat. House of Neko is just the name of our cat house. Uh, we've been doing this for 30 years. When I created Zen by Cat as a nonprofit, it's completely separate. Uh, we don't even take we take nothing for free. When when a company uh, uh, wants to support us, we buy the products and and then they donate a large portion of that back to our nonprofit. Uh, but I don't believe in benefiting from from our nonprofit, and we don't. And I want to make sure that's said again and again. So uh, I don't see any more questions. So I think I've talked enough. Uh, please share this video. Uh, you can always, if you have more questions, uh, either on Facebook or just email me, uh, Peter at zenbycat.org. Again, if you have an FIP cat, uh, please go to. Um, FIP Warriors 3.0, it's still up on Facebook. If it goes down, contact me directly and we'll get you connected. Okay, thank you for watching. I'm going to sign off now. Say bye. Nikon says bye. Jupiter says bye. Back there is the professor and Sesame. So there's five cats in this video. Okay. Bye.